Dick Williams. And Dick had won an Academy Award for animating the Pink Panther. Uh, Dick turned out to be the perfect choice. He was creative. He was a true gentleman. Uh, he was he was wonderful with the animators. He was a terrific mentor for the younger animators. Um, the older animators all recognize his talent, look up to him. Um, I don't think the I don't think the movie would be half the movie it was has anybody else been involved as lead animator. But uh, Dick sat down with me to draw the characters because, as I say, I, I you know I'm a writer and not an artist, and I I wrote the book and I had described the characters in the book, but I had never actually seen them except in my head. So we sat down and first we did Roger. Um, and he, he, he's pretty much the way he looks in the book. He's got the red overalls, the uh, polka dot tie. Uh, Dick thought that um, in the book, he's a brown rabbit. Mm -hmm. And Dick thought that on screen, uh, a brown rabbit would blend into the background and you would lose him. You would lose focus on him. If he was a white rabbit, he would pop. And I think Dick was right on that. So we changed him from a brown rabbit to a white rabbit. Um, Dick added the uh, little top knot up there, the orange top knot. And um, that was it. Jessica, we based on Red Hot Riding Hood. Uh, Tex Avery character. If you go go to YouTube and Google uh, Red Hot Riding Hood or Swing oh, yeah. Ship Cinderella, uh, you'll see those two cartoons and you'll see that Red Hot looks pretty much like Jessica or vice versa. Jessica looks pretty much like Red Hot. Um, Dick, Dick wanted Jessica to have those uh, outlandish uh, curves, shall we say, uh, the narrow waist and the, and the big chest, uh, because he wanted mostly other animators. A, a, lot of, a lot of this was done to impress other animators, uh, non-Disney animators, but he wanted other animators to know that they hadn't rotoscoped this and rotoscoping on. Is, a, is, a, is a technique where you photograph someone live action and then you just draw over them. Uh, perfectly acceptable technique. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I believe they Snow did it White. in Snow White. Yeah, they did yeah, it Snow, Snow White. White. Cinderella, it was Cinderella dancing with the prince. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, probably, I think, Beauty and the Beast is rotoscoped too. Uh, do, you, do you know if uh, in Pinocchio the god or not the godmother but the blue the blue fairy was she rotoscope too in Pinocchio? Boy, I, you she, know she I don't like think it. she was. I don't think so. I think mm -hmm. she was drawn because it but definitely I, looked I, a little I, different than the other traditional animation during Pinocchio. That, at that, that, that was time. that was 1935. There's not much this before my time, but that was kind of before my time. I don't know, and uh, uh, I don't know. But anyway. Um, Dick wanted her proportions to be so outlandish that everybody would realize that she was not rotoscoped. And uh, so that's how she came to be. Uh, baby Herman was pretty simple because there, there were a number of adult babies in the comic books and cartoons of my era. Baby Hugo, uh, baby, uh, lots of adult babies. And uh, so he was pretty easy and he's pretty much the way he looked 